very exciting to present the reissue of our first four albums. It's also nice to bring them back to life again. It also brings back a lot of memories from that time of the release of a recording. The whole hypocrisy stuff was really from the beginning. It was me in 91 coming back and uh, using a, my friend's studio to do demos and trying to send away to get contracts. And uh, in the end, I think I did one demo and sent away, nobody was interested. And then uh, after that, uh, somehow I got connected with Masse. He came more from singing what, what, what we needed. So therefore I asked him to join. So we were two guys on the second demo. It was the same music. And then actually Nuclear Blast called right back like three days later after sending the tape. And from there on, we start pulling in people. I uh, knew Lars from the past because we played together before I went to America. Masse knew uh, Michael from another band that they had together. And Lars was playing at that time in the band Epitaph with Jonas, who became the second guitarist. Somehow in there, we had a lineup for Hypocrisy. Actually, seditious, but uh, Masse renamed it to uh, Hypocrisy and, and I agreed it sounded much better. So that's really how the first thing started. And when we got the contract, it was just like, whoops, only have five songs. So <laughs> had to write a bunch of songs and then record it. That actually became Pentralia, more of a solo thing for me, but together with uh, musicians. And that's where we did the first video with this house that, that burned down. The first penetralia. We actually did the video before we did the album, I think. Do you think? I think I, so. <laughs> I don't know. Left her up because yeah. that, that, that big castle house yes. burned down, you remember? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, we, we used the uh, demo sound on that one. Yes, we did. <laughs> so correct yeah it, it is true <laughs> so we put up the gears and we got the uh, permission to film there and uh, we used left to rot demo from me and massa on the second demo that we got signed on so that's really how that became the penetrally album i would say oh